Welcome to the lovely town of La Chartre in the Loire Valley. The Loire Valley is famous for its beautiful chateaus, charming towns and good wines. But this town, La Chartre, is especially famous for its antique shops and its brocante shops. So I am here with Vivienne and Simon from the Chateau Love Channel and of course with Philip. And we are going to go and see if we can find treasures for La Lange. Throughout the town there are these beautiful porcelain plaques. Most of the houses have some and you can see they're all signed MV. And we're going to keep an eye out for all of those little plaques as we're going around because later today Vivian is taking us to meet the gentleman who makes them, who is nearly 90 years old. Philip's already enwrapped. There's nothing in this window I don't like. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not convinced about the little figurines. I'm with you on that one. Okay, but love the glass, great lamp. I love the porcelain. Yeah, fantastic porcelain but no K initials in our life. I don't think so, no. And the screen and the gentleman. Oh, I love them. You mean me? Oh my God. Oh, well, that one's lovely too. He's Look rather dashing. The... <gasps> oh, what's in there is? <gasps> what? Stuff. That's vast. Well, maybe you can live with the fact it's not my initials. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this place to open. This is going to be fun. Even the local Crédit Agricole, the bank, has got a sign made of the tiles to show everyone where their hole in the wall is. There are a lot of wonderful cars here today. Are oh, the red ones gorgeous, the cream one. But that is because we are at the Hotel de France. And this is where the Le Mans race drivers used to stay in the past, in their early heydays of the race. And a lot of people make a pilgrimage to the Hotel de France. And we are going to come here for lunch. We've just met Charlie, who's been coming here for decades, you're saying? So he seems. <laughs> and can you tell us why the Hotel de France is so famous and why it's a pilgrimage place? Yeah, well, back in the day, the, 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 the professional drivers and, and the big players needed an escape from the main, the main concourse, if you like. Mm. Down at the side of the Hotel de France is a workshop and there are photographs of Carol Shelby and all of his team repairing and working on cars all through the night. Then they drive them back to Le Mans. So this was just in the heyday. Yeah, but it was a way of escaping for the yeah. drivers. There was obviously a notoriety and there was no pee. It's just like they didn't have, we have paparazzi now. I don't know what they had back in the day, but, but they needed freedom to work on the cars and to maintain their automobile. To get away from the madness. Yeah, that's right, yeah, brilliant. So this is where it all happened. Thank you so yeah. much. Right, lovely, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Oh, yes, this is this. Uh, oh, these are the photos of everyone who stayed at this hotel. Look what the stands look like in the past. I'm actually ashamed of us, Vivian, because it's too stereotypical. The men are sitting eating huge burgers and fries, and we're both having smoked salmon and avocado. You two are so good. I'm making up for it. Oh, yeah, I know what's going to fries. Yeah. I know what's going to happen is our fries will end up. That's exactly what's happening here. I've pinched pretty much all of yours so far and I'm going strong. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> this shop is now open, so we're going to get to go inside. Gosh, it's a 95 piece. But this place is a chicken heaven. Chicken pictures and a little chicken. What is this? Oh, that's so cute. Isn't this the most adorable ring? Look at the little pearls. But sadly, it doesn't fit on any of my fingers because it turns on that one and it, it won't go on to any of these. Oh, it's the perfect Easter ring. Could you call it an Easter egg? <laughs> I feel like they're following me. Well, you are a hedgehog prince, darling, so they do tend to follow their leader. <laughs> follow the leader, 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 leader. This incredible little thing would have been taken to the ball. It's to hold the dance card. <gasps> so you know which order that the gentleman to you're dance dancing with? Suitors. <laughs> Yes, I mean, it does get very chaotic at our parties. I always forget which order I'm supposed to be dancing with people. Off, Stephanie. Oh, yeah. them off, Stephanie. If you had it written down, there'd be a clear, exactly. orderly fashion, a cue. Uh, I'll put Simon on the last page. <laughs> Make him get jealous. <laughs> How are you living without that in the chateau? I, don't know. I was just thinking this. Yeah, oh, she has the oh. So this would, you know, this is before the watch wrist, and you just open and put your um, watch inside. It's like, you know, instead of pocket, it's just set. Yes, you, know, you have you everything with you. Go out with everything you need. I'm going to buy the Chatelaine. Oh. oh. And as much as I would love to keep this magnificent thing for myself, I'm going to get it for my upcoming website. Oh. 
And so, tell us more about your upcoming website? I will when it's launched. All right. So I'm going to keep you dangling. Good. Just Chatelaine. like this, Chatelaine. But it's complete. I want to show you this is incredible. This actually holds. Yeah, you have Oop, to. Do gently. Okay. It's a oh, scent bottle. Damn. Yes, to put the little, uh, you can take it out and put it on your wrist or something. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's just wonderful. The old mirror yeah. where the clock would have gone. Yeah. Watch. And so this is dating, we think, to the early 1900s because this says 1911 yes yes 19 and 11 also so we can date this very accurately to 1911. <laughs> oh, look oh, oh that is beautiful it's like three different bottles <gasps> three in one yeah what dressing table doesn't need that yeah that is absolutely gorgeous it's my favorite of the week I love the old perfume bottles. This is Nuit de Noël by Caron. So elegant. And it comes in its original box. I have completely fallen in love with this red bed. But it's a single bed, and I don't think we need a single bed. Behind it, there's the footboard covered in the same fabric. I just find it the most glorious, pretty, lovely, lovely fabric. But the green and the turquoise glaze together. Mm, quite it's so colours. It's striking, isn't it? It is, it is. So many lovely things in this shop. Just need more rooms to decorate around. I know, I can't believe that I can't go home with a single bed. I think 200 is a bargain for it but I have nowhere to put it. And the length is 185 rather than 190. So you have to have a custom mattress which will cost you yes. five times the cost. Exactly. It's a shame. Such a shame. I do love the color so much. I think the fabric is the stunning. Beautiful. And it's so well made. I found a dress for you, Stephanie. Isn't that elegant? It's so beautiful. A perfect 60s evening gown. You look just like Jackie Kennedy. <laughs> I love the way that they've done the flowers. But it's a shame that there's a mark on it, because I doubt that would come out. Yes. Look here, I mean, oh, yes, yeah. That's, it's been not worn. terrifically elegant, mm. but loved, probably. It's really been loved. loved. We are all completely in love with the teapot. It looks like a, one of those restful, calming Italian scenes from a distance. And as you go closer, yes, that gentleman is being chased by a crocodile. No one expected that. I love this egg server. Little hard boiled or soft boiled eggs around it. It's English porcelain. That is so charming. Sadly, all of our breakfast set is blue and white, so that wouldn't fit in. Uh, now, these ceramics are very interesting. They're by Robert Picot, and he was a friend of Picasso's in the south of France, and he helped Picasso with his ceramics, teaching him how to do it. They're all part of the same movement there. And that's that's his signature. And I think they're rather wonderful. Not at all the style for the chateau, but really great. We've spotted a cigar rolling desk. This opens up with the tobacco oh. leaf on the outside, with the uh, rolling papers inside. This is the exact spot to roll it to the exact size, size. Yes, of the cigar. And then all these lovely carvings. And then boom, you've got your cigars. You know a suspiciously large amount about cigar rolling. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> and you are taking us to meet this very gentleman, aren't yes. you? So this is his name, Michel Boileau. Yes. And I think that this is him making his alchemy in his studio, which we're about to go see. There are tiles like this all over the village. And he's made them all? Yes, for decades. And they're wonderful, aren't they? And how old is he then? Um, that's a very good question. I'm going to say 180. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, that's going to be him. Out.
has just filmed the entire tour of this extraordinary place with his atelier, his wife's atelier. It is a museum. And I'll put a link to Vivian's video in the description box below. And please do watch it. This is the most extraordinary place. This is living history. I really like that when you're going to ask the price of this one. But I like the wig stand that you found. Oh, and no. you like the wig stands as well. I love the... I, these are beautiful. See, this one, it's covered in sailboats. Yes. And we love to sail. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, it's really meaningful. And the colors are so interesting as well. I and love the blue and white, but also with the yellow. It's stunning. And it's very similar to the one in the window. So you could end up with a pair that way. I would love a pair. Actually, I would love a pair. You know what? I prefer the wig stand. Oh, I love the wig stand. Um, so we got the wig stand. I think, yeah, wig stand. I mean, I need something to put my wigs on, darling. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's very well secured, I have to say. A lot of excitement being going on because we'd chosen the wig stands. We all loved them. So Vivian wanted the pair and we wanted the one on its own. Perfect. He only had three, but then he decided that because uh, two were being sold, he needed to keep the other one for the museum. But we negotiated purchasing his tortoise, which I think is quite excellent. I think he is it a he or she? Oh, I think it's a he. I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at Lalonde. I really do. Yeah, he's he does. He's got so much character and, it, and his, his entire bag is like... No, it's gorgeous. It's, it's incredible. He is perfect for Lalonde. Will he go in the yes. kitchen, do you think? I think, I think so. The, I think in front of the in the cuisine, I think. In the arrière yeah. cuisine, yes. So you have a tortoise that's actually wearing kitchen cabinets. Yes. <laughs> It's the one thing we needed in our life that we didn't know we needed. We like to match our animals to our kitchen. <laughs> we, we didn't just want to take you shopping. <laughs> oh, you bring us to the best places. Well, no wig stand, but hey, kitchen camo tortoise. So that's a win. It's definitely a win. What a place. Thank you for bringing us here, Vivian. This has been so much fun to share with you guys. I love it. Because you guys might be the only people in the world that I think appreciate this as much as we do. The only people who'd be walking out with kitchen camo tortoise. Well, I know. Quand est-ce que vous avez peint la tortue? Il y a 10 ans. 10 ans. Je l'adore. Elle est très vieille, mais je crois pas qu'elle pourra se réveiller. C'est une terre, vous voyez, c'est une terre de jardin. Oui, oui, oui. Et vous l'avez acheté comme ça et puis vous l'avez peinte. Oui, j'ai j'ai trempé dans les mailles et oui. puis j'ai peinte. Puis je vois votre signature là. Oui, toujours, toujours une signature. Oui, eh, j'adore. Merci. Today is going very well. What a day! What a tortoise! Did you drop your tortoise in? <laughs> I think I have him on the back seat. You're going to sit okay. him on your laps. You can't be parted. You know, you need a name for him. Ooh. Maybe Michel, because he was Michel, wasn't he? That's sweet. So they don't make hey, Michel. Michel the tortoise. <laughs> And now we're going into the shop, which is owned by Michel's son, Henri. Beckoned into a shop that Weird. Simon is referring to as Bowler Hat Man. Yes, this is where he bought his bowler hat, but it is also a land of weird and wonderful treasures from childhood. Well, I have found mine actually already. Can Darth Vader come home with us? Uh, Bonjour. 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 This Paris match from 1956. Queen's visit. I see a real similarity between the father and the son in terms of collecting. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see there's an Art Deco doll? No. Oh, the... Where is she? Oh, she's beautiful. Win window, window lady. <laughs> yes. Oh. They put they put it in the um, in the in the windows of, oh. the, of the shop. It was not for playing. Okay. She is very elegant. Yes. yes. It's one of the Santon. I have been wanting to start collecting them, but I feel really guilty because we just have so many crashes and can we have another crash? But I mean, look at, she's a grumpy old lady I know. carrying the sticks. Yes. Yeah. Look yeah. at her face. And look at her skirt with the Provencal fabrics and the tiny little Provencal fabrics here. I think she's excellent. I wonder how much she is. We should ask. Uh, Provence nativity. All is very traditional. There are a lot of a lot of people in this nativity, and this is the old lady, the old uh, woman with fagot with wood for the chimney, mm -hmm. because <laughs> they thought it was necessary uh, for the Jesus Christ to to be uh, warm uh, yes. in the nativity. So she give wood, and all 
other people of the native Provencal nativity uh, gives the something different to eat and to uh, to be warm and to drink and so on. So this is la vieille au fago. So this is my contribution to the crash at La Lande. And the thing I love about her so much is that Stephanie, you and I were joking about the fact that, you know, when we're just sitting there resting, sometimes it looks like we're grumpy. Yes. Really, we're just in repose. You think she's in repose? Genuinely. I think she's <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> I didn't but think she enjoyed just, carrying the word. <laughs> Thank you. I love her. Good. The Constant Spry <laughs> Cookery Book. We've got an English book here. This is a wonderful book. People going to Le Mans. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I go with beef with herb dumplings. Very good recipes, I think. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this is the only I have in English. I think I'll take yeah, this one. You the only English book. Yeah, you saw it. And I love uh, collecting yeah, cookery yeah. books. But then I rarely cook, yeah, so it's so simple. This is a very beautiful book, French book, L'art culinaire français. Ah. Ah oui, oh la la. Mm. So can you tell us about the history of the antiques in this town and the brocantes? There are so many shops. Yes, it's very simple. There was a man, Armel Labbé, and in the years uh, 2010, around, or maybe just before, he decided to to propose uh, other antique dealers to come in La Chape because it was a very good place, very ch charming places. Mm. Uh, with uh, the wine yards around, a uh, big, a uh, lot of castles and uh, vintage uh, historical places. Yes. He thought uh, it would be interesting to have a lot of places uh, to to find uh, old uh, things to, yes. to, to buy. Precious. Yes, and uh, more and more there were um, uh, different uh, places open with mm -hmm. antiques and uh, bric-a-brac and uh, each time there was an old shop uh, to, to close, there was an uh, antique dealer coming in La Charte. And after maybe 12, 13 years, we were uh, for 15 uh, shops, 15 antique shops. There are in La Charte only 1,500, uh, nearly 500 inhabitants. Mm. So you can say that there is one antique mm. dealer for 100 inhabitants. That's incredible. It sounds perfect. And you're so lucky <laughs> living so nearby to this. Yes. That's and, why uh, your chateau is so filled with treasure. <laughs> and the more there are uh, antique dealers shop, the more there are people coming and the more we sell. Yes. And it's attractive with the, wi the wine mm. around, the sellers, good restaurant, gastronomic places, and a lot, a lot of places to for sleeping here now. Mm. that uh, are romantic and uh, poetic and we don't have to forget that uh, we live in very near the place where I was born 500 years before uh, ago sorry the, the the big poet Ronsard because Ronsard was born only eight kilometers from here and what is very marvelous with, with Ronsard this is that we what we uh, read we can read in his poetry uh, is always real today. Absolutely. Yes, I think uh, in his poetry he was often... Landscape, countryside. He was trying so. to persuade women to go to bed quite often in his poetry, wasn't he? Like, make the most of time before you're old. Mm. Yes, yes. But in the most beautiful words. Yeah. <laughs> With the same impulses as today. J'adore <laughs> Pierre Ronsa. <laughs> yeah. Mignonne, allons voir si la rose qui ce matin avait desclose sa robe de pourpre au soleil a point perdu cette vépré et son teint au vôtre pareil. Oh. Ah. Oh, bon. Gentlemen, are you taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> this is how it's done. But you know, yes. <laughs> you, uh, what, that, that's, what that poem uh, tells us is uh, Ronsard wanted, be, he wanted to be sure to have uh, in his arms uh, Cassandre. Uh, because he was found in love uh, in Cassandre, with Cassandre. Uh, she was only 16 or 17, mm. but it was the Renaissance. Mm. And uh, he, he, he told Cassandre, you are like the rose, and uh, very, very fast you will be an old woman. Yeah, and it's better, it. it's better to be in my arms now. So <laughs> yes. it was a, a method to have uh, this girl very fast. <laughs> yes, this is how it's done when we go shopping. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Henri is giving us a copy of his book ici, of the chateaux. En souvenir. Carnet de voyage au Valais de Loire. Oh, I see what you're looking at, Simon. I look over two seconds. <laughs> what have you there found? she is. <laughs> is it another bowler hat? Absolutely not. Et je mets France rules. France <laughs> rules. <laughs> voilà. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Je vais me régaler. Très très gentil. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, c'est normal. Et vous achetez des choses et moi je peux donner. Oh. Et je, je fais toujours des choses comme ça quand je reçois bien. Quand oh, je suis bien avec les choses. Et c'est ma sœur qui a dessiné. Votre sœur. Alors, ah, oui, yes. vraiment, vous avez une famille extrêmement artistique. Artiste, oui, bah oui. So your sister, who is the daughter of the man that we visited today, yes. did the drawings. Has done these drawings. You did the writing. You own this wonderful place. It's, uh, it's La Chartre. It's La Chartre. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that your family own La Chartre. We arrived, yes. <laughs> we, we arrived in La Chartre in 64. I was mm -hmm. only two. And when I came back here in, in this shop, all the old people from the, the ancient shops, they said, oh, Henry, you come back, super, uh, welcome back, and so on. And it's very easy when you, when you were a very small boy. Uh -huh. And uh, well, yes, the people knew our family, so yes. it's very easy. The, the same everywhere in the world. It's your when, home. When you come back, yes. it's like in the Bible. Bible. Voilà. The prodigal son returns. Yes. <laughs> now we've come into a pop-up shop of nine artists who've got together. Gee, something's truly lovely here. I like the wire art. I like these. Where's the wire art, darling? I do. Oh, the chicken. 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 It's been a day for chickens, hasn't it? Oh, I love the birds. Love the birds. <laughs> No one. It's so delicate. It is actually very beautiful with the shadows projected. Yes, it is. There's the chickens, my favorite. I think Maria would love these. I think you're right. Yes, I think she would like this one. Looks a little bit like her. It does. It looks just like. I hope Maria won't kill me for saying that. Actually, very beautiful. I like that one with the with the glasses. On est un groupe et on le on mutualise. En fait, on met ensemble nos notre argent, notre énergie. Et nos travaux pour faire des boutiques comme ça et éphémères euh, qui pour, pour vendre nos productions. En fait. ouais. Quelle bonne idée. Voilà. I'm loving these postcards, but this one, it's its very Lalande, and I think that Maria would thoroughly enjoy this when thinking of the peacocks. Those damn unicorns pooing everywhere. That is the peacocks. <laughs> Do you think we should put some dye in their food? Try and make it a bit more, dye. yeah, a bit more rainbow. Back scratcher, darling. Nice. This is the most gorgeous vintage brush shop. Now, that might seem that's something that you don't particularly need in life. That's what I thought when we first went in with Vivian. And it turned out that Philip and I felt we needed... A few. Quite a lot of brushes. I don't know how we've lived without them all this time. I should think it's very useful. And if you want to see our tour of the shop, then Vivian will have that on her channel. With pleasure. Well, there's McLaren's bang up to date with the 100 years of Le Mans on it. What a car. We have the bread for tonight. There's a lovely boulangerie and these are still warm. We're going to have a little look to see if there's anything fun for tonight. Bonjour. Doesn't that wafer thin mortadella look good? We have goodies. They had mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella camembert. Have you ever heard of such a thing? No. It sounds delicious. And this is a man who's had cheese of the week for many weeks. It sounds extremely <laughs> indulgent. So we should try that. And they thought it was all over, but just driving out of town, we have spotted another brocante. Look at you two have indefatigable energy for brocantes. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, yes. They are lovely. They're actually a good price. They're very nice, but I don't think we're looking for 330 euro the pair pumps right now. Oh, lovely though they are. I'm, I'm looking for... Oh, I like the painted plates. Snatch my new hat. 
hat stand. Yes. yes, and you do like to match your plates to your hat stand, surely. Oh yes, that's a very large egg. Goodness. I'm just wondering how we coped without such a large egg in our lives all this time. I wonder who laid it. <laughs> okay, we can take your kitchen to a whole new level. That's what it needed, cherubim. Mm -hmm. We could just nestle the tortoise in between them. Yes. I find the old cologne bottles very charming. And Philip spotted more Val Saint Lambert crystal glasses. Beautiful colours. That's quite nice. It's a delightful little candlestick holder. Maybe not for 160. Very, very thin candle. Mm. Oh, it looks very English Edwardian. Yeah. yeah. With the, uh, the lights on, on the thing inside. Mm. It is very cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Can you imagine getting ready for a grand party there? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And what a beautiful spot. Just against the cliff and the trees. I actually like this glass. It's cute. I'm putting it back though. I think we've got quite enough today. What have you found? No, well, what's that? Evesham? Yes, it is. Evesham. It's exactly what we have in the kitchen up on top of the He's dresser. Missing the lid, I think. Yeah. That's a very sweet chair. Quite delightful. This one I feel needs a little bit more work. <laughs> and Michelle, the tortoise is out as well as the wig stands. We, well, that's perfect. We had to celebrate our day. Definitely. Oh, and this is so gorgeous. <laughs> All this deliciousness. I think Michelle makes a great sentence. Mm. Doesn't he look good right on the table? He looks very good. Oh, and I have all the cheese. I'll run and get the cheese. I don't think that life gets much better than this. Just lots of cold nibbles, the leftovers from yesterday, and loads of delicious things from the delicatessen. French life's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. Very Especially nice. with friends. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So I counted the number of these little images, the scales on the tortoise shell. Yes. There are 35 little scenes on the back of this tortoise. So you're saying we got a bargain? Uh, you definitely got a bargain. We basically bought 35 little paintings. It's one year of 50 paintings. Look, some of them are Not houses, bad. And then you've got grapes and you've got all these That's wonderful darling. little it's just images darling. of the French it's countryside. From, from around here. Hello, and it's sir. basically the same house that he painted uh, on the tile that he showed. That we saw today. Yeah. Which is in your video. Yeah. If you want <laughs> to see Michelle painting a tile in real time, then look at Vivian's video. To see more of our purchases from this wonderful day in La Chartre and to see more of Vivian and Simon's stunning chateau, check out my vlog on the Chateau Diaries. I will put a link to it now. Good night, everyone, and thank you for joining us.